Hi everyone and welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server User Account Management Training video. In this video, we are going to discuss the user account management features supported by WSO2 Identity Server. Let's begin by understanding what a user account is. A user account is an entity that comprises of the private information of a user such as username and password. To learn more about users, please watch our training video on user management. With WSO2 Identity Server, you can perform an array of user account management functions such as registering users, managing password policies, resetting and recovering forgotten passwords, locking, suspending and disabling user accounts and recovering user accounts. Now that you have a basic idea of user account management, let's learn about the methods used to register users. WSO2 Identity Server enables activating user accounts via a password entry. In this approach, an administrator will first create a user account in the system upon which a confirmation link will be emailed to the user's registered email ID. Once the user clicks on the confirmation link, the user will be taken into a screen prompting to enter the password. Once the user enters the correct password, the user account will be activated. WSO2 Identity Server also enables activating user accounts through email verification. In this approach, the user accounts created by admin can be simply activated by clicking on the confirmation link sent to the user's registered email ID without having to enter a password. WSO2 Identity Server also enables self-user registration via a REST API. In this approach, instead of an administrator, the user will self-register in the system via the REST API, upon which a locked account gets created. The information about this locked account will be emailed to the registered email ID with the confirmation link. Once the user confirms the account creation, an account creation confirmation email will be sent to the user's registered email ID. Similarly, you can register using skim slash me endpoint. Now let's check out the password policy management features supported in WSO2 Identity Server. WSO2 Identity Server enables to verify the password strength using regular expressions, commonly known as regex. In addition to the default minimum and maximum character length verification, you can add more factors to verify the password strength. This enables to comply with password policies deemed necessary through various regulations. For example, we can restrict the user from entering the same character pattern for both username and password. In order to reduce passwords being compromised, you can enforce password expiry after a predetermined period. If you try logging into an account with an expired password, you will be granted access only after changing your password. WSO2 Identity Server enables restricting the users from re-entering recently used passwords as a new password. When a user is attempting to change the password, the system will restrict the user from entering the most recently used passwords. You can configure the number of most recent used password changes that you want to consider for this. For example, if we have set this configuration to 3, the user will not be able to reuse any of the three most recently used passwords when setting a new password. Let's learn about password reset and recovery features supported in WSO2 Identity Server. WSO2 Identity Server enables password reset by two methods. In the first method, when a user attempts to reset the password, a password reset link will be emailed to the user's registered email ID. 
the user may click on the link and proceed with the password reset. In the second method, the user can reset the password by correctly responding to predefined security questions. WSO2 Identity Server also enables administrators to initiate a password change for forgotten, compromised or vulnerable passwords. Password reset can be done via SMS, email or even offline. Password reset via email is done by emailing a password reset link to the user's registered email ID. Password reset via SMS is done by sending a one-time password to the user's registered mobile number. The user can also reset the password by contacting the call center and requesting for a new password. Now let's learn about the account recovery features in WSO2 Identity Server. WSO2 Identity Server enables recovering user accounts where the user has forgotten the username. This is done by matching the user claims that are related to the user attributes. The user will be prompted to enter values for these user attributes. If the values entered by the user matches with the claims, the corresponding username will be emailed to the user's registered email ID. Let's move on to the account locking, disabling and suspending functionality in WSO2 Identity Server. Privileged users can temporarily lock suspicious user accounts and prevent the users from logging in. These locked user accounts can only be unlocked by privileged users. The privileged users can also define the maximum number of failed logging attempts the system accepts. When a user exceeds the maximum number of failed logging attempts defined in the system, the user account will be automatically locked. The privileged users can also define for how long the account should be locked. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got to know the basic attributes of a user account and the key user account management functions. Next, we learned how WSO2 Identity Server handles user registration, password policies, password reset and recovery, account recovery, and account locking, disabling, and suspension. If you have any questions or need further clarification, Feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is im-dev at wso2.org. In Stack Overflow, tag your queries with wso2-identity-server. And also, you can join our Discord server using the following invite. Thanks for watching this video and hope to meet you in another exciting training video.